Hey guys, I'm in the shop and I want to show you guys the Canon P100. It's uh, the, the Pro 100 uh, series. I use the Canon Pro 100 for doing my um, black, 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 black. Okay. I use the Canon 100 for doing uh, my screen print and transparencies. And since I've had it, I've noticed that it will give me a uh, pop-up that says the Canon printer is out of ink. I'm going to try to zoom in over here. And hopefully you guys can see right here it shows that those inks are out of... Uh, are out well the canon inks a lot of times are actually not out i've used it since oh god probably about 15 times since it said that it was out of ink so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys I set my computer over here and show you guys my canon which is up here um you notice that it just said that it was out and sorry but it's saying that it's actually out of black ink but it's actually not here's a print that i just did and now the printer is saying that it's out of paper which it is because i only put one in at a time so i am going to reach up here i have it so not really have to reach up here and put my transparency in There is a button here up here on the cannon, this blinking button. So I'm gonna push that button and do start it back to printing. So for some reason, those cartridges say that they're out, but they're not. And I've read this on the internet. So if you look here, you will see very closely that the black is saying it's out. Basically, all of my colors are just about out according to what the printer is saying. I normally was using the 1400. I no longer have the 1400. Got rid of it and got this printer because it's a lot cheaper. So, I've recommended the printer to people in my group and then you know we didn't have the inks and everything so since we didn't have an all black ink i feel like it's my duty that i gotta find an ink for you guys to use so all of my cartridges are out i popped over to amazon and i got this one which is called yo-yo ink now this is going to be my first time installing it my first time using it your first time seeing it other print is actually still up top printing so let me open up this box and let's see what we got here so this is a replacement ink you can just buy the all black cartridges I didn't want to buy the all black because I want to be able to use my printer to do other things other than just do sublimation transfers so it comes with, oh, this is, hmm. okay, so it's eight, eight cartridges is what it is. And I think that's what the printer comes with. So yeah, eight. Okay. So it comes with eight cartridges and got these little things here at the bottom. I'm going to figure that out what I'm supposed to do. Let me read the instructions and see here. Hopefully it comes with instructions. Oh, that's a review. Okay. So I don't see any instructions. It doesn't come with instructions, but I paid about 25 bucks for it. Let me show you the other uh, transparency using sorry about that hope I didn't butt down you guys got 
the other transparency here and this is using the regular uh, inks this is the back side but this is if I put something white next to it then you guys can see so this is the one this is using regular inks and of course like I said the ink is about out or it's saying that it is but I'm still using it so what I'm going to do now is take these all out and pop these into the printer and I'll come back and print my next job I, I'm actually wondering if well I don't like to I don't like to uh, waste any ink so I'm going to keep running this ink and then I'll go ahead and I'll change the transparencies I'll not the transparency. I'll go ahead and put some more transparencies in. I will change the inks and then we'll do a test print on those inks and see how they print. Okay? Thanks for watching. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So, I was actually able to print all four films out on the Canon Pro 100. Um, and these are just using the regular manufacturer's ink was able to do all four films even though the canon says that it's out and before i did this video i probably printed at least 10 other ones so we'll see i'm going to go ahead put in the new cartridges in the printer and then i'll come back and show you guys okay so i'm over at the printer and these are the inks that i got from amazon this is going to be my first time installing them this is what we have here um so let's see got the different ink cartridges and they have this little thing on them so i'm not really sure how this is going to work but this is my first time installing so you guys will get to see it as i see it and we'll figure it out together um, inside of the box there are no instructions hmm. looks like there may have been instructions up underneath this if i pull it off i might to see but i'm gonna go ahead open it up While it's opening up, it should go over and start blinking and tell me which cartridge needs to be replaced. Now this does say pull, so I'll pull that tab. Okay, so I have different ones that are, um, looks like different um, cartridges that are blinking. Let me try to bring the camera in a little closer. Hopefully, that looks like it's too close, but there we go. Okay, so I've got these different cartridges blinking. This one is magenta, so I'm going to pop it out. And notice when I pop it out, it doesn't have this little thing at the bottom, so I'm not sure if I'm supposed to put that in there or not. More than likely, I'm probably supposed to take it off. Yeah, you got to be able to take it off because there's no way that it would fit in there. So, I'm going to see, since it has no instructions, maybe I can pop this thing off right here. And that's how I got it off. So, I got it off. And I'm just going to, hopefully... Pop it back in. Okay. So I'm going to go through and take off all the ones that say they need to be replaced. That's blinking. My black is blinking. Although, when I look at this, it really looks like there's ink in there. And I can't tell by turning it upside down because nothing's moving so same with that one so that's the black Let's see here I'm just gonna make 
make sure that I'm putting in the same exact black. So that says black, that says black. Again, pull that off. I'm going to back this camera back out because I want you guys to. Hopefully, so I just twisted that and popped it out. Now, hopefully, these cartridges just reset themselves. So now I've got a gray that needs to be replaced and a magenta. So, this is the gray one. just twists and pops off. I like to take everything out one at a time so I'm not getting confused. And again, it looks like there's ink, but it's just hard to tell. Because see, if you look at this one, this is full. This is the thing that I'm saying about the Canon is you really can't tell when it's out of ink. Because that looks like there's ink and it actually looks like it's ink in all of the ones that I've pulled out so far but maybe not um, we've got the cyan and even that one so who knows so let's see okay so I see a photo cyan and a regular cyan Okay. Is there a light gray black? Okay. This is the end. I'm not seeing my last color, guys. The yellow. Okay. I found it. So, there's a space here between there. And I guess that's normal. Um, I'm really hoping that I can print with the aftermarket cartridges and the cartridges that, uh, the originals. So right now I have, um, half of the original cartridges and half of the other ones. And notice these two started to blink. So I'm wondering if I should just change them all. Just go ahead because I'm just going to go ahead and change them all. Change that one at least. Anything that's blinking, I guess. Um, not sure if you need to put a full set of the same aftermarket cartridges in since, like I said, it doesn't have any instructions, but the ink sure is cheap. So hopefully, this works for me. Um, at least doing the films. Yeah, so I think you have to like replace them all because every time I put one in, I'm getting another one that blinks out. So that yellow is blinking. So yeah, I'm just gonna replace it. And then after I replace these, I'm going to do a test print and see what the quality looks like. Now, I don't need exact photographic quality because, you know. Oh, okay, guys. So I see. So I didn't look for that on the other cartridges. I see. So if you notice on this yellow, the yellow is there. And in my cartridges, there isn't anything. So the ink is just down here, whatever is left. So I'm assuming that that's what's going on. And uh, I didn't notice it on any of the others. So I got to take that off. So let me look. Yeah, that's what it is. So that's how you can tell is that 
is the cartridge the ink is in there and then it goes I guess it goes over to this little spongy thing and that's how you can tell when the ink is low now I actually think that there's ink in these so I'm gonna try to put this back on and maybe save those for an emergency or something like that so I've got all of the inks in here um and like i said this is my very first time doing this so i'm just going to close it and see what the machine does if it makes a noise if it primes or anything i'm not seeing anything over here that's telling me to do anything so that's kind of weird um okay so i do hear it I'm just going to put these back on here because sometimes uh, with my Epson, I could go in and, you know, cartridges would still have a little ink in them. So I'd go in and I'd save those. So I'm assuming that this thing is ready. Yeah, it's very, very quiet. So I'm going to put in a piece of just... Oh, just regular, regular old transfer paper, or just regular paper, copy paper, not transfer paper. Put in some paper, and then I'm gonna do a test print. Um, give me one second, I will come back. I've got a plug this in so I'm gonna put the computer on pause okay guys so I'm back at the printer um, I figured out that the reason that this is coming out light is because this is actually a demo font and let me show you the two side by side so that one was a demo font and for some reason this demo font just would not come out black and if you notice down here where I have the other wording here that uh, where it says and she really is that is black why this demo foot doesn't come out black I don't know um, maybe it's some type of precaution that they put in it so you have to buy the font. Um, but I did go in and print another film and this is for actual job that I'm gonna burn so did go in and print this one and you see how dark the ink is so it actually was not anything wrong with the inks I will at this time say that I can uh, pretty much say that the inks are good uh, for screen burning I don't know yet about um, when it comes time to do any type of heat transfers or anything with this ink and here's another print that I did just to make sure that it was um, the